Welcome back. You're going to love this. Uh, Christmas might be a time for indulging in plenty of food and drink, but now a new song is hoping to send an important message as well as bidding for the number one spot. Yeah, the parody track is a collaboration between South Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service and a band from Sheffield called the Everly Pregnant Brothers. And <laughs> Get it? It's about the dangers of cooking after a few drinks. Let's have a look. singer Big Sean who by day is a funeral director yeah. so he can't be with us we've got Clive <laughs> Humberston and Richard Bailey from the Everly Pregnant Brothers and also morning two fellows and they brought their ukuleles with them as well and Martin Bundle from South Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service morning we'll, we'll talk about the, you know the serious issue here but I just wanted to how did you two so, how did you all like sort of get together did you you approach this well, one no it's something really strange we we had it we had a chip pan fire in in Sheffield and the local paper picked up the chip pan fire because we've been doing a campaign this year about them. Yeah. Um, Sean, um, no it wasn't Sean, it was Pete, it was Pete, Pete, uh, Pete, Pete, tweeted, McKee, yeah. uh, Pete McKee tweeted about it. Our communications team then tweeted back and said, do you fancy recording a, uh, a song with us about chip pan fires because they're really serious? And the response was, yes, I need to talk to the rest of the guys, but sounds a great idea. Okay, so you, you record the song, and we, this is some of yours anyway, but you yes. do the song and then how has it got to this stage where millions of people are watching it online and listening to it? Nobody quite knows, but we love it every second. Of it, we, we, we recorded the video and then we were going to bring it out and then I think it was the fire service said, why not bring it out for a Christmas single? Um, and that, I mean, the words, you know, we'll talk about the serious message in a minute, but the words, did you change the words? Because they've got a pretty serious message anyway, haven't they? Or have, you, have you done them specially? A, lo a lot of our songs are, well, they're parodies of famous songs yeah. and and Sean is a great lyricist he just he will just do it straight off his head he doesn't even write down the lyrics um, so he will he just changes the words and talks about love of beer food and I have to apologize Take because away. it's songs that you love and once you hear our version, you really yeah, I yeah, know I'm never going to sing it the same <laughs> way again Louise has been singing No Woman No Pie this morning and also <laughs> you do the old uh, REM classic Losing My Best Pigeon of don't course, you yeah. <laughs> losing my religion but in terms of the the serious side of this because chip pan fires they are still a real cause of concern and and and, and damaging homes and, and to people as well yes they're right and it's it's strange that in 2016 we're still having chip pan fires in the uk mm. it's a it's an issue that the whole fire and rescue service are, are tackling and certainly in south yorkshire in the last three years see how dramatic it is as well we've had a thousand chip pan or house related chip pan fires in yes. the last three years in south yorkshire and 200 injuries and two fatalities as a result so we decided to do something about it, significantly about it this year, which has led us into into this song. But uh, it's a great way of... I can see you smiling. Uh, yeah. it's, it's such a great song. You can't help but like it. But it, it delivers a good message but in a fun way. Because the character in, in the song, he, he's talking about um, coming back from late at night, he might have had a couple of beers yeah, extra. Yeah, that's right. and, and that, I mean, that can happen, can't it? Yes, it you, you forget that you put the food on. Yeah, so, and, and it's, it's unattended kitchen fires or unattended cooking fires that cause us the biggest problem. We had one on Monday night in Doncaster, and it's wrecked the kitchen and therefore wrecked that family's Christmas yeah. for something where they've walked away from the kitchen for a, a split second or a few minutes distracted by the door, the phone, the kids, whatever it was. Now, you know, I live in Sheffield, I know how popular you guys are in the city, but this, this could take you to an entirely different place. I mean, genuinely, I know you're... You've probably been nervy about it, but you could be Christmas number one this year, couldn't you? Who knows? Yeah. I mean, yes. 
Could be. And when people turn up to your gigs, um, somebody, I, I understand, turned up that they did think that you were one of Everly Brothers tribute fans. Yes. <laughs> That's not what you're doing. No. no. Uh, yeah, they sat halfway through the show and then decided to leave. What has the interest been like over the last few sort of days and weeks? Then? Just astonishing. Uh, for something that started as, as fun, it's just gone uh, absolutely crazy. Um, something like five and a half million views on the Look North site alone. And some of the firefighters who are in the video, they will, of course, um, like they have to, be working on Christmas Day as well. Yes, they will. I think we've had Red Watch Fire uh, in Central Sheffield and Red Watch Fire Control, the people who take the three nines calls, they've been heavily involved. So we've had five people particularly involved. We've had Dave, Michelle, Marie, Nick and Stuart who've been really well involved. And then we've had the rest of Red Watch Central, Red Watch Fire Control supporting it. Mm. And this, of course, is this is a charity single, so it's working with one of our partners in Sheffield, we're in South Yorkshire, Age UK, and also working with Shelter, two great charities who work with those who are most vulnerable. And raising money. And you've got yes. a big gig this weekend as well, so is this, is this the start of the gig or the end of the gig this time? Oh, we, we did it last week, it was the O2. Oh, so, um, and you got, oh, oh, I thought you had one this weekend as well. Not no, this weekend, okay. so, uh, but we've had uh, famous guests come and join us at the O2. Joe Root came and joined us and played a few songs oh, a couple fantastic. of years ago, and he was fantastic. Are you going to play us out in though? We're going to sort of say official goodbye. A chip pan by the Everly Pregnant Brothers is available, as you've heard. Come download let's get it now. Christmas number one. Right, <laughs> uh, Clive and Richard are going to play us out. We're going to join in. You play along, we'll sort of generally. I think I might know the chorus. <laughs> and that's up from both this morning. Now and Joe will be here tomorrow morning. We will both see you um, after Christmas. Yeah, have a great one. Have a great one. Here day. we go. It's the Everly Pregnant Brothers, everybody. With one, Chip two, three, four. <laughs>